Welcome to the Exploratorium, to the webcast studio, and today we're going to be talking uh, about sound. So before we start, I want to talk a little bit about what interference is. It sounds like uh, something that's wrong, as something that you shouldn't be doing. But interference is something that happens whenever you cross two waves together. And you can, do, you can get two different results when you, uh, when you combine waves together. They can either combine constructively or destructively. So you can have destructive interference, in which case two waves add up <coughs> to nothing, or you can have constructive interference, where they add together and make something bigger than either of the two waves are to start with. So I want to take a look about that, at that a little bit. So let's start by looking at constructive interference. In constructive interference, here I have two waves. And you'll notice that those waves are kind of lined up. Now the top part of the wave is called the crest, and the, the valley part of the wave is called the trough. And here you can see they're lined up crest to crest and trough to trough. And if I bring those two waves together like this, and I combine them, if they're two speakers, for instance, they'll combine like this. And you'll get a wave that's twice as big as the, either of the two original waves, assuming they're both the same size. So you get the result that's twice as big. Now that's constructive interference. In destructive interference, you'll probably guess, you'll probably get way ahead of me now. Here is a, a look at destructive interference. And here you'll notice that the two waves are not lined up with each other. Here the crest of one wave is lined up with the trough of the other wave, and the trough of the top wave is lined up with the crest of the bottom wave. So when I combine them like this, the crest of one wave can fill in the trough of the other wave, and the result, surprisingly, is nothing. Two waves, two somethings here can add up to nothing, and that's kind of a surprising result. Let's actually listen to that. I have, for instance, two tuning forks right here in front of me, and if I play them separately, you'll notice that they are slightly different tones. Slightly different. This one's a little lower than this one right here. And if I play them together, you'll notice you're hearing the sound come in and go away you're hearing them interfere with each other. I can do that with these, uh, our total zero distortion Meyer speakers over here. I have a couple of oscillators here, and I can turn those up. I'll put the microphone in front of those, that speaker now. We have two speakers, and each one's gonna make a separate tone. That's one speaker, and there's the other speaker. If I turn them both up to about the same volume now, you hear that warbling happening? That warbling is when the waves get loud, they're in phase, they're lined up crest to crest, trough to trough, and when they, you hear it go soft, that's when they're lined up the opposite way, when the trough and the crest are lined up to each, with each other, and that's destructively interfering. Now let's take a look at that, uh, that warbling, let's take a look at that, that's called beats. So here, for instance, I have a diagram, I have two different waves, and one of them is a slightly higher pitch, the green one, is a slightly higher pitch than the uh, yellow one is. And so if I line them up with each other like this, overlap them, you'll notice that at first, over on the side of the screen, they're together, they're crest to crest, trough to trough, but as you move across the screen, they get out of phase, they get, line up destructively, then they get back in phase, and they line up constructively, destructively, and that makes something called a beat note, and that's what you were hearing here, where the waves get in and out and in and out of alignment or phase with each other. All right, so let's look at adding two waves together and see what the interference pattern is that we get. So I'm adding this top wave with this bottom wave, and at the beginning here, you can see I have a crest aligning with a trough. So the sum, you can see, is very small. Then as time goes on, later I have a crest with a crest and a trough with a trough. And so they add with constructive interference to give a larger wave. Now let me change the frequency of these waves here. There we go. So this top wave is 5 hertz. 
one, you can count, there's five cycles here, and the bottom wave is six hertz or six cycles. And so now I get destructive, constructive, destructive. And let's up these frequencies a little higher. Let's make this one 50 and this one 51. And you'll notice I get one rise in volume. Remember that the amplitude of the wave is an increase in volume. So it's soft, loud, soft. Let's change the frequency from 50 and 51 to 50 and 52. There you go. Now I get two beats. Each one of these little eye shapes is a beat where the volume increases and decreases. And let's look at 50 and 53. What you might have noticed already is that the number of beats you hear is the difference in the frequency of the two waves. So let's go to a frequency generator that I have uh, found on the internet. And Let's try 70 hertz on one speaker and 72 hertz on the other speaker. And we're going to use a timer over here so you can see how many beats we hear every second. Look at the clock and count how many beats you hear per second. Now let's change it to a difference of three hertz. And just for fun, let's do something annoying. are beats.